Hey everybody, we are loaded. The temperature is set for 55 degrees, between 50 and 60. So I got it at 55. Oh boy. Where my load lock go? Have to get it at the front office. Curiosity, we got 17,450. Uh, let's go. Let's go. It takes a while. It's cold. There you go. Now think of it. I don't remember seeing my load lock, but a uh, load lock. Did I put my load lock in there? I don't know. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at the video. Hey everybody, John and good here. All right, we are loaded. I got my load lock, oh, load lock, sheesh. A load bar back. And uh, she was very kind enough to go back to the door and retrieved it for me. So 
I put it in the back of the trailer, she sealed it, and now we are on our way to Clear Brook, Virginia, 196 miles away. The delivery schedule for this is tomorrow. Tomorrow at uh, 7 a.m. Temperature is 47 degrees and we're gonna go out the same way we came in making a left turn here on Broadhead Road making a right on the next traffic light I don't know what the name of that street is We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Look at that big, beautiful, brand new place. It's empty. Boy, that's gotta cost them about what? a million bucks a year for property tax, maintenance. How much do you think a, a place like that costs a year for just sitting there? A big old warehouse like that. No activities whatsoever. I'm really curious to how much it would cost to the owners of the land and building. They gotta be losing their money like crazy. Right turn signal. Well, it doesn't say we can't make a right turn and right, right? So which way do we go, George? Which way do we go? Make a left. Stay green. Stay green. Stay, stay green. Thank you. I did look at the uh, GoPro video on the camera, made sure that I did put it back in there, and I sure did. I'm 
talking about the load bar. Catch you guys later. Peace. Hey everybody, John if you got here. Hello and good afternoon greetings. We are uh, actually still in Maryland. It's this is Williamsport, Maryland. But we are 3.5 miles, 4 miles north of uh, the West Virginia state line. We'll be crossing on the Potomac River in 3 miles, mile marker 3. All right, the local time is 4.28, temperature is 49 degrees, and we are down to 31 miles to the Flying J in Clearbrook, Virginia. Hopefully I can find a place to park there tonight. That place is usually jam-packed by, by 3 or 4 o'clock in the afternoon. And then from there it's about a mile and a half to the shipper or receiver. Enjoying this beautiful sunset here. So if we are 28 miles to the Flying J, what mile marker, what exit would they be in? Well, whatever last mile marker they are in West uh, Virginia. Oh, no, 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 no. Because we still got to go through West Virginia yet. So that means we are uh, mile marker one. No, no, no. I don't know what exit that is. Really don't. I think Virginia is about 300 something mile marker on 81. Look at that beautiful egg. Anyway, uh, does it say what mile marker? No, it sure don't. It just says Flying J, Travel Plaza, 752-1530 Rest Church Road Clearbrook Virginia Twenty 
26 mile marker. Mr. Swift. So we are 25 miles to the Flying J. We are at mile marker 24 over 4. That Flying J is right there by the state line. I mean, it's just right there. Everybody, John and Gadir, welcome to Clearbrook, Virginia. All right, the local time is 4:55. We are going to spend the night here at the Flying J. Delivery is tomorrow at 7 a.m. So let's go find a place to park. Good luck with that. There's a possibility that we might end up trying to spend the night at the uh, customer. Whoever designs these parking lot, I mean, seriously, they put them way too close to each other.
eight miles to uh, the customer from here. I think I'm just gonna go there. Don't you find it very aggravating to find a bobtail parked at a uh, full-size parking stall, right? that I went to uh, load today 
had a sign right there on the window that said, no public restroom. So I kindly, gently asked the personnel out the window and said, you know, where did you expect us to go to use the bathroom? which he replied, well, you guys could always pee in a bottle. I said, yeah, but not all truck drivers can pee on a bottle. <laughs> I said, uh, but the bigger impl imp implication is that we truck drivers feel like we're secondhand citizens because we're not even afforded to use your bathrooms. They didn't even have a porta potties outside. And I'm not singling out this particular shipper. It's everywhere you go. Not everywhere, but a lot of places though, you know, do the same thing. Some of them are gracious enough to have a porta potty outside. Ooh, there's a parking space right there. You can go back there. We're looking for 4027. Martinsburg Pike, US 21. Which is probably that one over there. It's this building right on our right side. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you. Peace.